everyone, it's Desiree, and we are here with day three of our 2021 Christmas series. And we, today's project is going to feature Anthony's Paper Craft. This is a stamp set that I had shown earlier this year. Um, and I just think it's gorgeous with all of these beautiful details um, and embellishments already built into the stamp itself. So I'm going to show you a real quick and simple way um, to get a beautiful card in no time. This one would be great for mass producing. So let's get started. Okay, we're going to start out with our background panel. Again, still stepping out of the non-traditional or using a non-traditional Christmas color or holiday color, however you want to say that. Now, one of the combinations that I have gotten very attached to, and I blame um, another YouTuber for that, and that's Vicki, whose last name I will not dare attempt to pronounce because I'll make a mess of it. Um, beautiful art journals. She has gotten me hooked on this combination. It is speckled egg and, yes, vintage photo. But this speckled egg, it goes with a lot. It can go with any of the browns. It can go with the blacks. It can go with the blues. It can go with the greens. It can really match up with many colors, which I think is fantastic. But I did want to go with this a brown. So if you don't have vintage photo, you can use any brown you've got going on. Again, use your color combinations. I made sure that I sprayed the, sp the oxide sprays in certain areas. I used my heat gun to dry it, and then I've added water. I usually like when I add water to let these dry naturally. I love the way the oxides separate. Remember, these are dye and pigment inks, so they do take a longer time to dry um, and you want to make sure they are dry if you emboss over them. But I am using a paper towel just to uh, soften and pick up some of that water. Anthony's Paper Craft. I had shown them before. Uh, he is a wonderful, wonderful gentleman. Um, awesome to work with. Now, he is also in the process of fixing his website. So... You know, if you're looking for anything that he may have, he's, and he's also doing a lot of shows right now. I wish he would come closer to me. Um, I would definitely love to see his booth. So just keep that in mind. Um, but I will definitely um, make sure I link to his site. He's doing a great job remodeling that. This image, I just fell in love with these images. They are beautiful uh tight designs, a tight script or a sketch, and that beautiful bow that's coming over that. I stamped that in Distress Oxide Ground Espresso. That is the beauty of the oxides as well. You get the oxides, you can have multiple colors for your stamping and embossing with clear embossing powder. Now that big old tub of embossing powder that you saw, that is Wow Clear Matte totally hooked on that as well um, for right now we'll see if it sticks um, Amy R got me to notice that she was using it in a video I didn't even know it it existed but it is beautiful it is absolutely wonderful I love again I love the satin look the matte look even with Mod Podge I use the matte I don't use the super glossy um, when it does dry, it will have a slight gloss to it. So it's not completely matte, um, but I am enjoying it. I am using a sentiment from Birch Press Design called Contempo Christmas Greetings, and they does come with dyes that are sold separately. Um, and I am now heat embossing each of those images from the sentiment to my main focal point. I used my Recollections Gold for the Believe. And I like that they're blocked, so you can cut around them, you can tear around them. Um, I do like those type of sentiments. 
And again, you don't have to always have a holiday sentiment, but believe is something that can be used year round. So if you have somebody that you want to give encouragement to around your holidays, then this would be that perfect card. I'm going to use my deckle edge trimmer to trim around my card panel to make it approximately four by five and a quarter. And I will place this onto a piece of brown cardstock cut to four and a quarter by five and a half um, so that it can have that border. Now, since there was a lot of water added to this, I will be using my double sided uh, two inch tape by Uline that is super strong. I went around the edge with the vintage photo and here is that roll. This is a great roll. It's last, I've just moved into my second one and, I, and I've had it since I started uh, making my cards. It is on the pricey side, but I think it is well worth it. It is not a forgiving tape. The moment it touches something, it's stuck there. Um, so I am using foam, some uh, scrap piece of fun foam, so that I can prop this panel up and I'm going to place that down and then adhere that onto my standard A2 size card base. I am also going to prop up my sentiment with some double-sided foam squares and figure out where I'm going to put that. I'm going to actually use my tweezers. Um, I decided lower left, I did just did not want to cover any of that image, but I did want to have the sentiment on there. I am using my Satin Pearls by Trinity. Um, they also do come in silver. I just love this satin look. It just adds a level of elegance without being too wah in your face. Use my liquid art glitter glue to adhere that. And that is day three. I do hope you enjoy it. And yes, day four, again, right around the corner. Um, we are continuing to move along. As always, the products that are available or the products I can link to will be linked down below. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please make sure you reach out and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Enjoy your day. Smile. Holidays are, we got through one, at least here in the States. And we're coming up on to the next one. It is truly the most joyful, you know, wonderful time of the year, as they say. But remember what is most important to me. Always be creative. And until the next video, guys, take care.